guy here. Uh, what's up, bro? Either that turn out below you or the turn out above you. Wait there until we get our traffic control set up, and then we'll bring you back down. So can I back up behind my father? Back up right now. We got traffic. Yeah, there's stragglers in here. Okay. There's a big turn out up here. You can turn around. I'll do that. Um, Where's the car? Let's go down. It's right here. It's right. It's almost right behind your where your flatbed is. So you just can't wait here because it's live. You got it. I'll be up there. So go up here. All right. Just thank, go to the next big turnout. Thank you. Right. Let's take out my put on free spool. All right, guys. So I used the drone to fly up, and she got a look at this. This is obviously not meant for people to hike, so there's no real way down. We just gotta brute force it. Got my sleeves on. I got my harness. I think I'm gonna use it to repel down. Maybe. But if you can see where I'm standing straight ahead, that one tree in between all that green that has just nothing but branches and gray, the Mustang's like right before that. They said 300 feet yesterday, but um, yeah, that's that's gonna be more. I'm gonna need all my choker cable and then some. So let me set up Hulk, get my outrigger set up, and throw the boom out, and uh, we'll start hiking down there. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm there. I am here with Castro. He's in the flatbed, and I got myself in Hulk. We got ourselves an early morning vehicle over the side. So use the drone to locate it. You can't get, see it from up here. So we went down here. I just followed the blue parts, it's a blue Mustang, so there's bumpers, fenders along the way. Follow them all down, and here's the vehicle. You know, from the drone, because I'm uh, I'm zoomed in, it doesn't look much. But let me just hover directly over it just to see how, we, what we see from up here. So, I'm about, I don't know, 20 feet above it, right? And, oh yeah, you can't even see my trucks. So we gotta hike through all this, keep hiking, and there we are. Good thing I got my pants, my sleep protectors. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start getting my game plan going on. So we are almost done prepping, just prepping. Uh, this one will do. You know what, that's ugly looking. This one's nice. Working low limit, eight tons, eight and a half tons. Perfect. Okay, Castro. Throw this one up there too on that. So I got 250 feet of cable and Hulk, uh, 100 extra feet of wire rope, and a 20 foot 3 8 chain. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Now we begin our descent into madness. All right, now that Castro was set up, we got all our stuff. He's going to take the initial descent. I want to stay up here and monitor the cables to make sure it doesn't wrap out. Once I'm on five layers on the drum, I know I'm maxed out. I'll finish the rest of the hike and meet him down there with the last choker. Uh, well, use these bad boys. These are legit. Here you go. Throw that on. These are setcom. No base station required. We got them in uh, each heavy and rotator. These things are bad, man. You just turn them on and that's it. So that'll allow me to communicate with Castro as he gets further and further. See, I see some of the blue stuff here. So he obviously came through this way where all the shrub stuff is broken. And it's like a big dive. Wow. Ready? Hold on. All right. We had a bit of an impasse. Castro said he's stuck. I'm going to go find him. So that there's a, where's the tree at? Probably right here. So that there's a tree in the big rock and it's gonna be very difficult bringing over the the car. Let's see if I can. 
I think I see what you mean. This is all a big tree right here. Yeah, I see you. Okay, point at it again. Okay, that's the rock you're talking about. That's not good. Yeah. Castro, what about to your left? Where the... Yeah, right there, where, where you're pointing at. Go up there, and you'll see the blue Mustang parts. I see blue Mustang parts right there. That's where he came. More than likely, the way it came down is uh, the best way to come back up, because he would have knocked down a bunch of stuff and made it easier for us. So if you could... Mm, I lost you. Do you see the drone? All right. Let me fly directly above you. I'm going to fly over to where the, the, the Mustang parts are. You do? All right. So right here, where the drone is. That's where I see the Mustang part. See if you could hike this way and go around that bush, if that makes sense. In fact, this way looks even better, actually, because from my drone, if you can hike straight down, it looks like there's no other further obstacles. Yeah, that's the best bet, Castro. Follow my drone, and I'll probably have to reposition Hulk. Oh, I love this drone. Yeah, you got it. There you are. Wave to the drone. <laughs> All right. So once you get to the, it looks like the bumper. Once you get to that bumper, man, uh, stand by and I'm going to back up. You know what? Do I even need to back up? Yeah, I do. That way my line of action is direct. Okay, I am going to do a status update check on Castro. See where he's at. Uh, that's just 120 footer Castro, but I, I looped it back up to itself multiple times to shorten it. Oh my god, you're barely right there. <laughs> Yeah, I see you. What's going to get stuck right there? The chain? Uh, I think it'd be fine. If you just, bro just pull it, walk with it. I don't think it'll get stuck. Can... Um, okay. Once you get past that, it's like a straight shot, man. Yeah, once you're... Yes. You know what? You can't tell from the drone, but... It's... You're going down. This is steep. It looks kind of flat from up here. It gives it the illusion. You fell? Oh, as Castro makes his way down. Check. So you can get a better angle, I mean, uh, a better understanding of just how steep this is when I get down to the actual car.
now I can see look at that that's brutal oh I see Hulk's boom <laughs> yeah that's steep bro so let me try to uh, come back up oh I lost you Okay, folks, so it looks like Castro has hit as far as he can go. He hit a cliff. And a big, steep, steep wall. So I'm the one with the harness. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hike down there to meet him. And once I get there, we'll switch. And I'll use uh, the harness to, to hike down there. I got my uh, hard hat. Let me take my remote with me. Turn it off for now so I don't actually hit anything. I got my hard hat, my face shield, my harness. I'm good to go. I got a water bottle in the backpack with the drone. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to take this. It's such a trophy just in case. Last thing I want is to get down there, hit the last of our cable, and still have some distance to go. So let's get that. This can go in the back of me and this goes on the right of me. Like this. Wish me luck, fellas. You know what? Is there a faster way? When I checked with the drone, unfortunately not. There really is no shortcut to this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go the way Castro did. Unless I go down here and then I cut a clip. Yeah, I'll do that. <sighs> Boy. I'm going to try to keep this rolling for as much as possible. Um, there is going to be some shakiness. So if you're one of those people that complains about the shaky cam, even with the stabilization on, skip this part. Oh, man. Oof. And I just fell. Crap. Let me get rid of this choker cable. Looks like I'm stuck. Why did my foot get caught in? <laughs> there we go. <sighs> and I just fell again. I fell twice and I just started. That's not a good sign. <laughs> 300 more feet to go. <sighs> Compose yourself, Josh. <laughs> oh, man. Should I edit this out or leave it in? Hmm. Let me get one. Put it over my shoulder. this to help me and I'll switch this on the left side <sighs> well here's the bumper and is that the spoiler or a side skirt <sighs> Dang, Castro, you really did all this? I have no excuse. And I'm supposed to be the athletic one of the team. Then again, I'm carrying a bunch of extra weight. <sighs> See if I can come up, we can put this in the car. Just for now. Look at all right there. Idiot. Looks like, oh, it's a four, ladies and gentlemen, a Mustang. Shocking, right?
And there's the front bumper. Damn. Castro, I am impressed. I regret telling you that you were taking too long. I don't even know I'm gonna do this part. All right guys, I'm gonna stop the camera really quick just to get uh, my feet balanced and walk around and see what's the best way down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look what I just went through. <sighs> I see Castro. Hello. Man. Job. Hey, I see it. Right? Doesn't it look like an old Corvette? With it smashed up like that, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna toss this to you, Castro. It would just come straight down right here if you put it right there. <sighs> Everything else is all down there. Oh shoot! This is wet. How'd you get around this part? With the, with the cable? Ah, it's already pulled out. All right. Where's that cliff? Right there? Yeah. Right here. Unfortunately, we're at the end of my rope. Is that bad? I thought you had a lot more slack. I would have... Uh... No, it's not bad because we just attached one end of the choker to me and you hold me. Yeah. You repel me down, yeah? So my life is literally in your hands. So I'm gonna find out how good of a boss I am. What do you weigh? Uh, 180. But I'm all muscle. I'm dense. Uh, it's concentrated. Is that your sweater? No. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Alright. So do you wanna... So guys, just to tell you, I have 250 feet of cable on Hulk. And it stopped right there. I'm also boomed up though, so... Oh man, dude, that's like what 400? Yeah, easy. What did they say, Caltrans, when the forest people were About here? 420. 420. 420, 420 blaze it. <laughs> you went down there or you threw it? No, I threw it down there. So that red shack was where it ends, right? That's where that's no, it's all down here. So we still but have there's a red more. shackle. The red shackle is way down there, and the cable and the chain is. There's way down more there. past the red shackle. No, no, the red shackle and the chain; those are separate. I took those off. Oh shoot! They're right over there. The so cable, it ends on the silver shackle. The the cable is all down here at the very bottom right here. So what you can try doing if you want, you can repel down this way like this. No, I want to. If I if I lose grip or slip, I'm dead. I can seriously. That's here. What we're gonna do, Castro, is use this baby one. Use the twist lock shackle to put right here on the back. In fact, you'll hold my backpack. And then put it around me and hold you? You just hold it. You'll sit right here and you'll hold it. Um, as I repel down using this, you're going to use that as a safety to hold me. And I'll hold this one here. Oh, it'd have to be in front of me, huh? Yeah. I should have bought a strap. All right, let's get this settled. I'll be back. Okay, guys, moment of truth. I am going to be hiking down this. Got my harness. Just to be safe, let me do this last little safety. All right. Ready, Castro? Ready. Man. I'm going to be repelling. Let me... Oy! All right, give me slack. Just start giving me slack. Just keep giving me slack, man. Oh, shoot. This is crazy. <laughs> Go. You're gonna be feeding me, so you feed it to me. I'm just. This is why it's important to make sure you never kink your cables and keep them nice. The way there's no wire sticking out and cutting into me as I do this. Hey, this is fun. How you doing up there? Good? Great. All right. And of course, dude, this is wet. It's all wet right here. Help, right? There's no group. I'm, I'm doing good. Oh my god. Don't look. Why did I look down? I'm having a panic attack. I'm coming towards the end of mine. You are? 
Okay, good. Tell me when you get to the end and hold it. I see somewhere to put my foot. Tell me when you're... You're holding me, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I can put my foot. Let go, Castro. You're good. Thank you. Watch your face. Ready? No, no, no. Let me tug it slowly. Okay. Here you come. Okay, I did the hard part. Not bad. If you fall from there, I'll just wait till you wake up and then you'll be all right. Okay, guys, I did it. Woo! So, I still have that choker that I know was the distance from there to there. The end of this choker ends here, and I have one more plus a 20 foot chain. We're good, man. I think we'll make it. So you stay up there, okay? Duh. Tell me what to do. All right, guys, I'm gonna untangle all this and uh, make my way to the car and start hooking up. I'll be back. Ah, oh, yes, I feel so good, I made it. All right, cash was up there. There's just a little drop here, but I could jump this. So my second choker cable ends there, and I got my third. I mean, absolutely perfect. I was debating on if I would need it or not. I'm glad I brought it. Now I got my 3 8 chain right here. I'm going to go around the front axle on the driver and passenger side. Well, if I'm able to, I'll check it out. And then uh, I got my bridle to hook it up. Attach that to a shackle at the end of this. Um... Man, I'm losing my mind on my thought. Attach it to the end of this wire rope, and then I'm good. I got my wireless remote. It should reach. I start winching up, and as I do that, there'll be tension on this cable. I use it to repel. Hack myself back up. That's going to be fun. <sighs> Gotta hit the gym more, Josh. All right. I'm just looking around my surroundings to make sure this thing won't get stuck anywhere. Hopefully, when I pull, it comes up this way. Maybe I have to rotate a bit comes up over here this I'm worried about it's like if you could see a wall just yeah I should be okay all right let's do this I'll come back to you guys when I finish rigging all right I'm rigged up the passenger front axle is completely ripped out I'll have to throw that tire in um that was a Frankenstein of a hookup this thing's all bad as I get closer and I don't need as much choker, hopefully I can uh, find a spot where I won't roll back, shorten up and re-rig. But I'm just doing this to get it up out of here. This is gonna be a bit of an issue. But I got Hulk here. Hopefully the brute force of Hulk will be able to overcome all this stuff. Okay, Castro, you know how to turn on the remote? I believe it's... Uh... Oh man, that was not a fun hike. There I am. Safe and sound. All right, Castro. Let's go visit you. If you can see, there's already tension on the line. And there's the vehicle. So it's a bit. All right. I'll be hovered right here. All right, Castro. Stay in Coming up, 
Okay, good. How's that path right there? Am I at the rock yet? Okay. I'm doing a quick stop to get a visual on everything. Astro, what's right in front of it? Is that a tree? No, those are just brushes. I think I'll be good. Say hi to the drone. <laughs> right behind you. <laughs> We are doing good. So far, my drone is showing 190 feet from my distance here at the rotator. So, we pulled it a good amount. Let me show you. So, we pulled it through all this, this. Kind of a little bit here, so we know. So, gotta go past the doors. Now, once I get to this point, uh, probably very close, and I'm gonna have to stop and take off some of the shoulders. Let's see if we do that. Are you stuck, Castro? Yeah, I see you. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and talk to Ben for now. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, we're going to do this still. Okay, guys, so I just got rid of all the choker cables. We're pretty, we're like 200 feet out. Maybe less, maybe 150. So Cash was down there putting all the excess choker cables, all three of them, with the shack was inside of the car. He's going to make his way back up here, and I got my white line directly attached to my bridle, which is on the car itself. And then I'll be making our way up. Nice. A little Sunday flexion, come in on my day off to do what I love to do. What quarantine. Mm -hmm. I know when we stop.
Throw the flatbed out. I'm gonna get up there, turn it. It'll turn by itself. You want to do it like this and then down, or do you want to do it the other way? I can hook it right here to pull it. Hold on. You'll see what I'm going to do right now. Okay, Castro, around the rim, huh? put the hook and... Let me show you really quick, hold on. You'll see. Should I just J-hook it? Right? Right here. Right here, actually. Do the same on your end. No, yeah. Ready? Okay, guys, moment of truth. Ready? Excellent. Yeah. Take up the free spool. Here. Awesome, oh, good Frankenstein. I'm gonna put my truck away, Castro. You got it from here. No, I was just hook it up from here. Here and then we're good. Huh? Can I ask you a quick question? How do the headsets work for you guys over the side? Do they work pretty good? Awesome, and I don't need a stupid base station. Do you ever have issues with connectivity on them or anything? I was up here while he was at his furthest point on that. You're perfect. Okay. They're awesome, man. Thanks, man. Good job. Good Thank fun. you. my train on here okay yeah I just need a GTFO well I hope you guys enjoy that um hey bro if it was wondering if you could grab a fire too <laughs> I'm gonna put the truck away uh super fast to clear this up cash is gonna finish on the sting we're out of here man I hope you guys enjoy this peace out